Cool. So I am here with Alexandre Joyal, uh, who is a, uh, he took the leap. He's been using the automatic music machine now for quite some time. So Alex, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. How are you, Luke? I am doing great. So tell me, how long have you been uh, producing and making music? And like, when did you start that? Oh man, it's been a journey. It all started uh, like 12 years ago once I found the guitar. That's where it all started. Uh, I'm still playing guitar to this day. I went to school for audio engineering and mixing in 2012. So that was quite a while ago. And uh, just been like kind of recording bands, recording myself as much as I could since then. And, and then kind of got more into like the electronic kind of like solo project kind of being a producer, so to speak, uh, more so like creating my ideas inside the computer environment instead of just recording pre-existing ideas. And then uh, I think I joined the Leap in 2019. I, th I think that was when I joined it. So that was a definite part of my journey for the the more of the musical production stuff, for sure. Cool. So quick you, background. So when did you start actually using the automatic music machine? You said 2019? I think so. Yeah, it was... I think it, I think it was the leap eight. I, th I think that was the one. I'm not sure what time it was or what, uh, <laughs> what year it was. Uh, you might know better, but uh, it's been like a good, I feel like a year, year and a half that I've been actively using it for sure. So what was kind of like, what were the, like the, were you going through any like creative struggles before you started using it or? Um, definitely. I've, it's gone, I've gr gone through a lot of, uh, growth spurts in uh, music production and recording. Um, I feel like I've gone through a lot of, like before I joined the Automatic Music Machine and the Leap, I was still very confident in the result I could get. I, I could like produce something that sounded good, get a good mix, get good performances, write a good song. So, but the only thing is I felt like the process was just such, such like, how did I was trying to submit my music into place with my will. For like every time right and like right. focus on one track and just like like all my energy and it, it just like you get the job done but holy what a what a process so that's kind of where it was at I was like still able to do the thing but it, it just felt like such a task and work and it was uh kind of a drag <laughs> mm, mm. okay so like what uh what were your goals kind of musically before you started using the automatic music machine. And then could you talk a little bit about that? For sure. Yeah. My goals were, I think to finish more music, like get to the point where I could, I could get a track, like uh, get the general vibe, get a bunch of ideas and then move it along the production line a little bit quicker. And in a way that felt like more like a flow because I, I, I was very self-aware that what I was doing got the job done, but was probably not the best approach because it was pretty painful. It was a painful process a lot of the time. And so my goal before joining was just like kind of just wanting to revisit the process and see if there was like something better, a better approach to uh, the, way, the way I was going about it. Because the way I was going about it would be like, I'd get like, I get like a track done every like three, four months. It would be like a process. So that's kind of what my goal was to like fix that. <laughs> so you were finishing what, like a track every three to four months? Yeah, if that, for sure. It was uh, like the, the music I create isn't exactly simple or straightforward all the time, but uh, it was definitely a drawn out process um, just, because, <laughs> just because the way I was approaching it, I guess. And like, I, I just wasn't that consistent. And uh, the, the workflow itself would really uh, make my motivation wane. Like I'd be like super stoked. And then I'd be like, oh, it sucks. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> so how much music are you finishing at the moment after using the automatic music machine now for quite some time? Oh, like, like uh, to get tracks to a point where like it's arranged, it's finalized. And I know it's like a song that just has to be maybe tweaked or mixed uh it's it's unreal it's like i can't even keep track i probably have yeah. like 24 24 songs that are like definite like structured song ideas just in the pipeline and i'm focused on like 
doing I think I'm working on like eight or six of them right now at the same time so just such a different trip <laughs> so you sure. went from like what one track every three to four months to now at the moment you've got would you say like eight that are basically there and yeah for sure like eight in the same amount of time with le less time spent you know what I mean like in the three months I I'd say I'd get like maybe eight eight nine songs and then but I've spent way less time to actually get there so I can focus on other things at the same time so you've essentially what like eight acts your <laughs> yeah if you look at it that way <laughs> and and I mean how much less time are you spending that's the thing that's most most uh mind blowing for me because uh it's significant like i i will get uh, a really cool interesting idea like get the idea get a mock arrangement uh you know decorated with new parts like in like three sessions four sessions and those sessions are from like half an hour to an hour time sessions versus like before it would be like like four hour sessions uh like many times to, for many weeks to get it to something close to that mm. Mm. so do you think that's had like an impact on your like emotional state kind of like freeing up your creativity have you found that that has impacted you in other ways as well absolutely uh i think the biggest win in that lens is i definitely like going through the automatic music machine process and the leap and everything i i came across certain tendencies i had and, and certain ways that I would look at things that were quite detrimental, to put it lightly. Like I had a very, and he still looms there once in a while, but I had a very harsh critic, like very harsh, where I would, I would dismiss like the vibe that I'm creating just because it wasn't good enough and because I judge it so quick. And uh, that, that comes from wanting to over perfect something and do your best. But in that lens, it was just like way, like bringing it into the process way too early and just stagnating the whole thing so that that it really helped me realize that i have a lot of that tendency and in, in the contrast to that uh going through the leap has really helped me kind, kind of let let go like just just let it happen more instead of being so judgmental and so like a type personality on like everything has to sound great it's just more like ah let's see what happens <laughs> and like just the freedom of that is is what allows you to do things in a more timely manner because you're just letting it happen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, what would you say your your goals are now? Have have they shifted since uh, before you were using the automatic music machine? Yeah, like uh, they've shifted a little bit for sure. Now I'm just trying to almost like get the the process itself connected to the result. So trying to even like get the time even smaller between just letting something happen and then uh harvesting that so to speak or developing that into something final and i feel like that is kind of where i'm headed as an artist is like i want to try and bridge the gap between like flowing and in the moment and the final product as much as possible instead of having too many uh editing layers or too too much overthinking it and like orchestrating around it although i still enjoy that that's kind of my goals now because the the music is happening so it's like okay let's try and diminish that time and make it even more seamless of a, pro a process and kind of rediscover a sound through that that's kind of my goal now excellent that's great um what has, has anyone else like noticed changes um in in your process and your music since since you began with the uh the machine yeah like uh a couple of ways actually um one is just the street like like i i'm in a band called uh dizzy mystics so we're all like players and like we collaborate in that sense and um, we all have other solo stuff and other endeavors as well but just in the sheer nature of like i'm like hey guys check this out hey check this out Hey, check this. Like, it's it's just become a thing where it's like, man, how many like how how much are you in the studio? And it's funny because I'm not even in the studio that much. Although I have a practice, I, I try to do it every day, but like 15, 30 minutes a day. But just the sheer amount of ideas starts to accumulate, especially when you're sharing it uh, super annoyingly to your friends. And then um, just actually 
a couple days ago, I hung out with a friend who, uh, he's a guitarist, so we're, we're kind of the same cloth, like we're into rock, like heavier music, metal, all this stuff, just shreddy stuff. And um, I showed him a couple of things that I've been working on lately after uh, mastering all this stuff. And uh, uh, his perspective on it was super uplifting for me and super encouraging because uh, he, like it, he comes from a, a place of like, I guess, normal uh, music or, or like typical music that you would hear in the guitar space, like rock and metal and all that stuff. And we listened to my stuff. He, he was like, wow, this is like a mixture of like shreddy stuff, but like jazz, but also like uh, like chill vibe, like the, you know, the chill channel where it's like trip hop and just like zone out music. So that was really cool to get get that kind of uh, feedback for people. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, man, you make me want to hear your music. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so what has anything happened to you that you just never would have expected or thought possible since you started this process? Yeah, it's weird. Like, I feel like what really has happened is like all of these threads that, that have been in my, in my, I guess, mind, my consciousness at some point, all of these things that I maybe had in the back of my mind of things that, oh yeah, that would be sweet to do, or like, oh, this is cool, or like developing a setup, or like getting a unique sound, or I've all been ideas that I've had, but I feel like somehow going through um, the automatic music machine, the leap, and even mastery, it's starting to just like, bring of all of these things up as things that I want to do in the process itself. So it's not like this abstract idea of like, oh, it would be sick to do live stream performances. Oh, it'd be sick to do this. It's just like those ambitions are, are kind of steering the way and how I'm shaping the process. So it's kind, of, it's kind of like an interesting way of of like achieving those kind of goals and those ideas or at least experimenting in that direction in a super active way instead of it being like, such a concrete goal that's just in the mind and then applying that to like how am I going to get there it's a lot more of a organic seamless process so it's really kind of revitalized my music production for sure man that's great to hear um <laughs> uh is there anything else you want to add um no like uh no it's been a, an awesome journey and the thing it's it's in a constantly evolving journey so I would say that like if anyone feels like in a slump or if they resonate with what I was saying where they're very perfectionist and they 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 really want to make something good but they have that really harsh sense of judgment and of a critic uh, maybe maybe it's time to revisit uh, the approach right and and maybe be a little bit more gentle with uh, your your creative self right because uh, that has opened up many doors for me so that's what I would say for sure excellent well thanks so much Alex and uh, I will see you in the community and in mastery and yeah, keep making, keep chugging along and I'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Luke. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.